Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up iPhone mirroring on your MacBook and I also have the iPhone right there so that when we start setting up then we'll be ready. I'm going to hop into the MacBook right now and I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing that you want to do is to go onto your dock and then there is an iPhone mirroring option that's here where you see your phone. So you just click on it, your iPhone on your Mac. So this will give you quick access to iPhone apps, view and act on notifications, no need to reach for your phone. So whatever that will be happening on your phone, if you're on your MacBook, then you will have all the information so you want to go ahead and click continue after you get this option you want to go ahead and unlock your phone so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that got my face id there all right so for me to set it up i must make sure that the wi-fi on my phone is turned on the wi-fi is turned on if i just go to system settings and then check on bluetooth it is also turned on so i'm just going to make sure both of them are turned on right now and then i'm going to go back to the mac and i will try again so now that i've done that and i locked my phone if it doesn't work like you saw the first time then you must just do it again unlock your phone make sure that your wi-fi and your bluetooth is on and then once it has connected i want to allow notifications from the iphone then i can say allow if you do not want notifications say don't allow you click on don't allow i'm gonna click on allow and then iphone mirroring iphone news is ready so we can go ahead and get started so my iphone is unlocked this whole time it's just right there it is unlocked and then i'm gonna click on get started so then now you can see that the iphone is mirrored onto the macbook i'm just gonna go ahead and put on my password so here i can select ask every time to be prompted to use touch id or to enter the password if i wanted to ask every time i can do it and if i want to authenticate then i can definitely do that so here i'm going to enter the password i use to unlock the macbook once i do that then i click ok the phone is off on the side here but i can see everything on it i can scroll i can see my app being right now i'm just moving the mouse and whatever that I want, I can search as I'm swiping, then that is happening. So I'm literally controlling everything that's on my phone right now as we speak. It's gonna be okay. I can open files, select documents, records. I can play videos that are on my phone. So I can move the phone as you can see. So what you wanna do is just to hover on the phone like this and then you can click on it and you can move it to the side whilst you are busy with other things. I can have my iPhone here and then I can also be doing what I'm doing here. Subscribe for more tech tip videos like this and thank you for watching.